What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be going over something really important which is basically your daily deals that you get here in the flash deal section. Uh, the reason why I'm going to go over some of these is because one of these in particular are very critical for end game players. There's one of these that stand out more than the others. Obviously this is the daily deals but we're not looking at that. Can you guess which one it is? Yeah, it's actually this one right here. <laughs> I'm just going to cut to the chase. So the technician pack is absolutely huge. On average, people who play the game daily and collect their free implant crates, it's the one that you guys get uh, over here, this uh, basic implant crate. On average, you get about 300 of these, uh, what do they call it? The scrapper. I don't even know what they call it. What do they call that? The pilot, pilot marks? Not pilot marks. Oh my gosh. What do they call this? Oh, right there, I said the name. Implant parts. Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. Implant parts. Uh, so you get about 300 implant parts a day. So if you were to play the game consistently every single day, on average, you would get 300 every single day. So it would take you about, let's do some simple math. What is that, 50 days to get this? So almost like a month and a half, two months. Let me see, 50 times 300. Yeah, so it take you 50 days to accumulate this. So for endgame players, this is absolutely huge. It's completely critical, especially when you get to the very later stages of the games and you have all these legendary implants and each one of them takes 63,000 implant parts to like, you know, fill up. So if we were to do that, we would need four of these suckers minimum. Four of them. So that would literally take 200 days, 200 days of playing to get one implant legendary maxed. That is ridiculous. That is absurd. It's not possible. So for something like this, this is absolutely huge. This speeds up your progress 50 days. Uh, because this is one of those things, unfortunately, you can't really earn quicker. It's just you're given it. You know what I mean? So for me, this is definitely one of those options that is phenomenal. If you haven't, if you need implant parts, if you don't need them and you're sticking with the rares and epics at most, um, then don't worry about it. This is typically for endgame players who have like all these implant parts and they're still not done. Like they still have like a few more that they need to do or like some builds don't have really like everything filled up to the brim. So that's why this would be probably the most beneficial. Um, as for the other ones, I mean, it's up to you. Obviously, anything that's rare, uh, it just isn't worth it anymore. So I'm not going to grab that. And this right here isn't really worth it either. Just because the battle pass, like, you can get that for half the price and it gives you, like, all this and more. I, I think you get, like, an extra 350,000 credits on average or more. Plus an additional 600 A coins and these are literally um, not worth it. So yeah, just just pretty much wanted to go over the tactician pack. Um, and then this is also a really good one. I think you only need to get this once and this would extremely help out your hanger if you want to get legendary implants. Now, of course, I know not everyone is able to afford these. So I'm just letting you know which one is definitely a good one and which is not. Obviously, Carbine Aids is a no. This double offer one, whenever it comes up, that's definitely a no. And then Javelin Rock anything that's rare and below I, I don't really recommend I mean rocket mortar would probably be the only one and then this this is great I that's all I really came on to say and yeah man let me know what you guys think if you guys like seeing these kind of informational videos about what you should or shouldn't buy uh, for end game or mid game or early game stages I would love to help you guys out so you guys have a good one all right